Dear learners, in the previous uh, video we have seen the basic operations in Calci software like uh, opening a workbook, creating a workbook, saving and basic text formatting. Through this video we are going to uh, understand the advanced features of Calci software. So myself Purvi Kumar, PGT Computer Science and through this video I am going to explore text orientation, merging and wrapping text in a cell, use formulas, functions and cell referencing, perform sorting and filtering of data, creating charts, printing the worksheet along with you. As heading suggests, orientation, it means rotating the text according to the specified angle. So this is often used for labeling narrow columns. The default orientation of the text is horizontal but we can change the text orientation as per our requirement. For that purpose, we should select the cell or the cell range for which the orientation has to be changed. Select format option from the menu bar and click on the cells option. The format dialog box is displayed. From that dialog box, click on the alignment tab. In the text orientation section, set the degrees by which the text has to be rotated the preview shows the text accordingly. If everything is fine as per our requirement, then we can click on OK button to view the rotated text on the worksheet. The next is merging and wrapping text. Merging and wrapping, these two features are helpful to display long text in a single cell. Wrapping, as the name suggests, it means to make the entire cell content visible in a single cell by displaying it in multiple lines of the same cell. For wrapping the text, select the cell and click on format and then again click on the cells and then alignment option. In the format cell dialog box, select wrap text automatically. Checkbox in the properties section, the text will be wrapped up in multiple lines. On the other hand, merging is the feature that makes the long text to merge with the adjacent cells and form one large cell. To merge cells, select the range of cells to be merged and click merge cells button on the formatting toolbar and the data will be merged. Next topic is number and date formatting. Kelsey allows us to format numbers in a variety of ways like displaying currency, placing commas to separate long numbers, adding percentage sign, specifying number of decimal places and so on. Similarly, date and time can also be displayed in variety of formats. For applying these number and date formats, we should select the cell or the range of cells whose content to be formatted and click on format and then cells. The format cell dialog box will appear. Select the number tab if it is not selected, otherwise by default it will be selected. Choose the desired category like number, percent, date, time, etc. from which category you want to work and then the desired format from the respective list boxes. The preview of the selected format is displayed in the preview text box. If you find it suitable as per your requirement, then click on OK button to apply the selected style. Using functions. Functions are one of the most powerful feature for any spreadsheet software and it would be very the appropriate to say that spreadsheet softwares are very, very popular because of its function facility. So functions are predefined formulas in any spreadsheet application. These formulas are predefined. We don't have to bother about its calculation or anything. And we only have to type the name of the formula and then uh, the range of the cell and the work will be done. Various functions are provided by Calci to perform various operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, average, etc. or may display current date, time or may join two text and so on. All functions must begin with an equal sign. So learner, please take care that whatever function you are using, please use uh, equal sign before any function name, otherwise the result will not be appeared. Basic structure of every function will remain same that is it will start with equal to operator then the function name and within bracket the argument list. Argument list means the cell names on which the function should be applied or the range of cells. Like for example if we want to use some function 
So, sum as the name suggests it will add the numbers given in the brackets as argument list. So, the syntax of sum function will be sum within bracket number 1, number 2, number 3 and so on. For example, if we want to display the sum of 20, 30 and 40, we have to type equal to sum 20 semicolon 30 semicolon 40 and press the enter key. The moment you will press the enter key, the formula will be disappeared and uh, the resultant will be appeared on the in the cell where the formula was already there. So, the range of cells can also be mentioned in the formula. For example, to display the sum of numbers stored in cell C3 to C10, we can write it like this that equal to sum C3 colon C10. So, where the equal to should always be there, sum is the function name and C3 to C10 is the range of cells where the formula should be or the function should be applied. Similarly, other functions can also be used like average function and other functions, max function, min function, so many functions are there. All the spreadsheet softwares provide the wizard facility also to use the functions. So, wizards are nothing but the dialog boxes which provides a step by step processor to perform any task. Kelsey provides function wizard facility also to the user to avoid typing functions from the scratch. So, to use the function wizard, click on the function wizard button which is present near the name box. The function wizard starts. We have to select the category of the functions from category list box. The corresponding list of the function is displayed in the function list box. Select the required function. The name of the function appears in the formula text box or the function text box. To specify the argument list, click select button in front of the number 1 text box. The Kelsey worksheet appears. Click and drag to select the range of the cells on which function application is required. The selected range appears in the argument text box. Click select button again to go back to the function wizard. For example, if we have chosen min function and it should be applied on b2 colon b6, so it the function will be written equal to min circular brackets b2 range b6 circular bracket close. It will be seen in the function text box also. If everything looks fine, then click on the OK button to close the wizard and display minimum value in the active cell. Similarly, other functions can also be used with the help of function wizard very easily and effectively. Now, one of the very important concept of a spreadsheet is cell referencing. Cell referencing is the address of the cell. It's nothing but the address of the cell. By using cell referencing term, we can refer to a cell or a range of cells in a formula itself. Cell referencing is of three types, relative referencing, absolute referencing and mixed referencing. Relative referencing, in this type of cell referencing, when the formula is copied from one cell to another in a worksheet, the cell references or the addresses of the cell being used in the formula automatically changes according to the relative position of the copied formula. So, that is why it is called relative referencing. Absolute means fixed. So, in this type of referencing, the address or the reference of the cell in the formula is not changed when the formula is copied from one cell to another. To make absolute reference of a formula, add a dollar sign before the column and the row number. For example, if I say dollar $B dollar $1, so it means the form when the formula is copied, the address of this cell that is B1 will not change. And this is quite visible because it has dollar sign. So, dollar sign is used to make any cell address as absolute cell address. Now, Kelsey provides uh, mixed referencing also. And as it suggests mixed, it means it will be a combination of uh, absolute and relative. So, this type of cell referencing is the combination of absolute and re relative referencing. Hence, in this type of referencing, either the row number is fixed or the column name is fixed. The cell references like uh, $B1 or B$1 are the examples of mixed referencing because uh, if I talk about B$1, so here B is relative and 1 is absolute having a dollar sign preceding 1. So, this is an example of mixed referencing. 
One of the very interesting and very commonly used feature of uh, any spreadsheet software is sorting of data. So, Kelsey also provides the same. Sorting means arranging data in ascending or descending order. Very commonly we use uh, this sorting feature um, in the attendance register that we want to display the student's record alphabetically or uh, during exam time we want to s arrange the rec records as uh, in accordance of the marks achieved or scored. So this is very commonly used uh, functionality of any spreadsheet software. So to achieve this sorting of data, we should select the data range to be sorted and then click on data and then click on sort button. The sort dialog box will appear. Sort criteria tab is already selected. Specify the column according to which the data has to be sorted. Select the order in which the data has to be sorted that is ascending or descending. Ascending means increasing order, descending means decreasing order. Ascending increasing order means if it is a student's name. So, it will be alphabetical order, increasing order it means anybody whose name starts with A will come in the beginning and uh, will uh, having name starting with Z will be at the end. And if it is descending, so it would be uh, the Z name starting with Z would be in the beginning and uh, in the reverse order. So, that is descending. Click OK. After setting the required options, then click OK to see the sorted data. Kelsey gives you option to sort data according to multiple columns also. It is not like that you can only sort the data based on one column. If by chance values are same in few of the cell, then it can be sorted on, on the basis of the second column also that is multiple column sorting and uh, Kelsey provides that option. For that purpose, another box is there that is then by the uh, second then by box. So, select the uh, column from that box and then the uh, sorting based on the second column will also be done. One of the very interesting feature of a spreadsheet is filtering data. So, filtering data as the name suggests that we want to filter out some data as per the requirement and we want to hide the another data. So, that can be done with the help of filter feature of Kelsey software. It hides the data based on the specified criteria for a column. Unlike sorting, the data is not rearranged in the case of filtering. Instead, the filtered subset of data is extracted and the rest is temporarily hidden from the user. Unlike sorting, because in sorting, the data was completely rearranged, but here the filtered subset of the data is extracted and the rest is temporarily hidden. The filtered data can then be edited, analyzed, formatted or even printed also. Even copy paste also, you can just take out the copy and then paste in another sheet also. So, that can also be done. Select the column or the columns on the basis of which filtering has to be done and select the range. Then go to data, then filter and then auto filter. You will see that a filter icon appears on the column headers indicating that the filter is applied on these columns. You can click on the drop down arrow to see the filter data of your choice. Making charts in Excel, charts one of the most important and interesting feature of uh, any spreadsheet software is charts. If I talk about what a chart is, so this is nothing but a pictorial representation of the data and they say that uh, pictures are very e effective way to convey the analysis or convey any anything instead of uh, reading the normal text if we see the picture. So, the uh, message would be conveyed very fast and easily and this you must have experienced it during cricket match. This is one of the very popular example where the score of the match or uh, the uh, uh, analysis of the match would be displayed at regular interval with the help of some charts. So, all those kinds of charts can be made in Kelsey software also. It is very easy to explain a concept or to analyze and compare the data using charts. Kelsey provides a number of charts, a number of uh, category of charts and one of the uh, com commonest uh, example is uh, bar chart. It displays data in the form of long bars of different height vertically and horizontally. Column charts, it is represented in the form of vertical bar. Series of data points are connected together with a line. 
area chart. It is based on a line chart, but the area between the axis and the lines is filled with different colors. Pie chart, XY chart, net chart, stock chart, bubble chart, column and line chart. So many types of charts are there. So, we can, uh, we can just make ourselves comfortable in any kind of, any one kind of chart and uh, then we can easily uh, switch over to another category of charts. So, before doing anything, we should understand the components of a chart, then only we can explore a little more on this. So, uh, different components of a chart are there. The first is chart area. It includes the total area in which all the components of the charts are placed. Second is plot area. It is the area bounded by two axes for a 2D chart and three axes for a 3D chart, where actually the chart would be drawn. It contains the actual chart and also includes the plotted data, data series and the two axes. Chart title. It is the topic of the chart usually given at the top. You can give any the chart title, let us say rainfall analysis or let us say cricket match analysis or let us say result analysis, the title of the chart you can give as per the requirement. The title help us to know what data can be inferred through the chart. Then the axis, the xy axis, the category axis, data series, legion. These all are the components of the chart. If I talk about legion, so it identifies the data series being represented in the chart. Like if I talk about uh, column chart, so multiple columns are there in any chart for example. So these leads, legions can label those uh, columns. So it can be identified, those columns can be identified ki okay what value those columns are representing. A unique color pattern or symbol is at assigned to each data series so that they can be easily distinguished. Grid lines, these are the horizontal and the vertical lines that run across the plot area. It helps us to know the exact data point to be plotted and it can be removed as well by, uh, with the help of some settings. Next is printing a worksheet. We have done everything, uh, creating a worksheet. Uh, using functions, formulas and then uh, using charts and everything. Now this is the time to take out the printout and the hard copy of the work to save it for the future reference. So for that purpose, go to the file menu and select the print option. Print dialog box shows the preview of the active worksheet. Specify the printer name, range of the worksheet to be printed and the number of copies to be printed. If you want to print only the chart, then choose the selected sheet option. Also make sure that the chart is selected on the worksheet. Click print button to print the worksheet. So dear learners, with the help of these uh, video tutorials, we together explored so many things related to Kelsey uh, is application like creating a workbook, creating a worksheet, saving, opening, closing, formatting, using functions referencing and uh, other features, other interesting features like functions, charts and printing worksheets as well. I hope now you will be more comfortable in Kelsey software. Thank you so much.